Hey, what's up guys? Grant Collins here. A lot of people have been wondering where I go to school and um, what my degree curriculum looks like in terms of the academic classes I have to take. Today, I'm gonna go over what I have currently done and what I'm going to take in the future regarding uh, my current college program. If you don't know by now, I am a cybersecurity undergrad student. Uh, hoping to get my degree in cybersecurity. I currently attend Southeast Missouri State, which is located in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And there's roughly about 9,000 undergraduate students at CMO. It's a pretty small school, um, but it's a good campus that, that fits my needs. Just like any college, they have tons of degrees. And in particular, they have a degree in undergraduate program in cybersecurity. Uh, it's very, very well known and very well regarded around the community, around here, the local community. This particular undergraduate cybersecurity program was founded around 2009, 2010-ish area by a former security professional who had previously worked at Motorola and a startup. And um, Seema approached him 2009, 2010 and asked him if he wanted to create this uh, undergraduate cybersecurity degree program. Basically the last 10 years, this cybersecurity degree has continued to grow and um, gain in popularity from this founder of the curriculum. Today I'm gonna to go over the degree map that I am currently under, and then I'm gonna also mention the degree map and what a prospective uh, enrolling student would be under, uh, just to compare and contrast differences. So let's go ahead and move over to the academic portion piece, which is gonna be on my computer. All right, so we have transitioned over to the computer, and in front of me we have the degree curriculum that I'm currently under. So we have this basic degree map from my school and all students will have to take general education classes as well as this cybersecurity core uh, if they want to get into cybersecurity. Basically, this is how many classes are in the cybersecurity core. And right now I am academically at this semester, that was a terrible circle, in my spring semester of my second year. So this is basically, um, the overview of my curriculum and my degree map. Okay, so I have done a little bit of editing here and I have the degree curriculum pulled up, of course, and I have color-coded the different classes that I will have to be due or have done um, in the past. And it's broken up into four color codes. Uh, we start with computer science, then we have cybersecurity specific classes, then we have yellow as our math classes or math kind of classes, and then we have our networking classes. There's a big networking emphasis in this particular program as well as cybersecurity. Um, basically, from this degree map all the way back until you know when it started, a lot of the curriculum has been uh, with a networking foundations with those networking fundamentals, and then you top on with the security. A lot of individuals wonder how much math in particular a, a curriculum is gonna have. My curriculum, as you can see from the yellow, has a good amount of math classes that you have to take. But as outlined in a previous video, I will link up here, a lot of the math is pretty foundational, uh, basic math. The only one I would really highlight would be this um, cryptography class. This one is definitely gonna be a, uh, a you know, a definitely a, a hard one to take or a, definitely a hard class, but uh, all the other ones are basically pretty foundational in terms of what you do. And on the computer science side, as you can tell, there's really not many, I guess you could call this one as well development, but I have four classes that are gonna be computer science specific. And then we have our blue cybersecurity and our networking. I think we'll be in the description below for this particular degree program. Um, but yeah, so a lot of uh, networking foundations. And then on top of that, we have security and then we have those basic foundational math classes and throw in a little bit of computer science and you have my particular cybersecurity undergraduate degree. All right, so I have transitioned to the most updated curriculum degree map uh, that the school has published out. This will be for the upcoming year and this will basically stay the same here and there will be changes. Um, so here is the, the new one. And really I've color coded and as you can see, math is taken out. There's two classes and it's heavily focused on uh, the computer science and cybersecurity side of things. As you can see, we have our green here um, 
and, uh, and we, all, we have more computer science than we do have cybersecurity classes, and we have two math classes now in this uh, most modern one. You know, how do I feel in particular about this? I, it doesn't really, I guess, matter that much. Uh, and I'm more interested on the networking side, but there is definitely a future in the computer science uh, industry, and it is going to be definitely a bigger than uh, the networking side of things. It just depends on who you ask and what you're going to do in cybersecurity. But they have transitioned from a complete network emphasis to a complete computer science emphasis. In addition to that, basically all the cybersecurity classes have changed. So any student who is going to be coming into my school in particular uh, is going to be under this degree map. The one that I am under is no longer going to continue. It's what I have in terms of um, my current academics, I guess, because I'm enrolled in a different year than the students uh, behind me. There you have it. That is my overview of my degree map. Again, I'll, I'll leave a description in the link below. Two different degree maps. Some people like it, some people don't. I am particularly, I'm more interested in the networking side, so I'm, I'm happy I'm under the, the older one. So there you have it. That is it uh, for today's video. If you have found this helpful, please consider subscribing. And that's it. Have a good day.